Moving now to another story for you this afternoon. It's a taste of Ireland here in Utah. So today we're joined with the cast and the producer of the touring Taste of Ireland show. We're so glad you guys are here. Okay, so this kicks off, your six week tour kicks off right here in Utah. Okay, we've got a lot of questions for you. First, okay, so you guys are from Ireland, is that right? Um, we're kind of from all over. All so over. I'm actually personally Australian. Gavin's from I'm Ireland. Ireland. I'm from New York. And, yeah, so, and we have performers from Canada, America, England, all over. Okay, all over the place. How are you enjoying your time in Utah? Yeah, it's been really good. We haven't had too much time to explore yet because we've been busy in rehearsals, um, but what we have seen is just beautiful. Okay, so you're gonna have some time to figure it out. Tell us a little bit about, I feel like a lot of us here in Utah, you know, tell us a little bit more about what we should know about Irish dancing. What goes into it? What sets it apart from other forms of dancing? Um, I think it's a very unique sport or art form because you kind of have to be as pretty as a ballerina, but also as fit as a footballer or an Olympian. So our performers, our dancers, they train six days a week. They do all different types of things to keep themselves in shape. They have to look after themselves really heavily because it is so heavy on the body. So it is very, very unique in that sense. But the show that we perform also tells a story, um, which is you know a beautiful way to bring it all to life. Okay, so uh, for the dancers specifically, you guys, what can people expect at the performance going into it? What the, should they know beforehand? Um, just beforehand, yeah, it kind of tells the story of Ireland. So we kind of do a lot of music and dance numbers um, right from the beginning, from like Fianna and Finn McCool and all through the famine, like the Vikings coming up to the, the 1916 rising up to the present day. So we do that all through uh, music and dance so you know there's been a lot of like highs and lows in Ireland so we kind of portray that <clears throat> through the dance um, so you can expect to be like uh, cheering laughing crying <laughs> Yeah, there's a bit of a crowd involvement too, so you can have a bit of crack or fun. And, and, and you mentioned that there's a storyline that you guys are kind of showing, that's right? Yeah, so Ireland has a really, really tumultuous history. There's lots of highs, lots of lows, and lots of things in between. So we do cover all that. Hurling matches, Vikings, uh, the Easter Rising. There's lots of storytelling involved in the show, and we tell that through Irish music and dance. Okay, and, and we've seen a little bit of video of you guys doing this, and you make it look quite easy, <laughs> but I would you describe it is easy it doesn't sound like that it's definitely not easy but it's fun so it's easy to perform it and make it uh, fun to watch for the crowd so we really have a lot of fun on stage like with each other and with the audience so um, it is difficult like we are we are huffing and puffing at the end of it but we, have, <laughs> we have a good time so what would people back home who've who've never Irish danced before what's something they might not know um I, I think that Irish dancing has certainly evolved a lot over the years. There's a lot of people that go, you know, the arms by the side, that's a really big important thing, which it has been over the years. But as the shows have developed over time, we use our arms a lot more. Um, so it, And it's become a lot more intricate. It's very, very difficult in the moves that are performing. Um, so there's certainly things that have developed over the years. Okay, so you guys said a lot of work goes into it, a lot to know. Uh, the tour starts tomorrow in Provo, yes. is that right? Yes, that is correct. Okay, And it'll go six weeks? Yes, so I think it's just longer than six weeks. Week, so it's a very busy couple of months ahead. Okay, a lot of information there about what goes into it, how hard it is. We talked about it. We want to give you guys a chance to see that, okay? <laughs> so still ahead right here on ABC4 News, we're getting a sneak peek performance from the Taste of Ireland dancers. Stay tuned for that. We'll be right back.